Green Bay, Wisconsin, Matt LaFleur has fired three coordinators during his nearly five seasons as the Green Bay Packers coach. If Joe Barry is going to be number four, LaFleur is going to need some more time to think about it. Even after the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, shredded, and out-coached, LaFleur's words, his defense Sunday. LaFleur was peppered with questions about the defensive performance in the 34-20 loss and Barry's status after Baker Mayfield turned in one of the most dominant performances by a visiting quarterback ever at Lambeau Field. Oh uh, yeah, now's not the time for that, to be honest with you. LaFleur said when asked whether he would consider a change at coordinator. When asked why not, he repeated, because now's not the time. I'm trying to find solutions and I got to go back and take a look at the film. Perhaps LaFleur meant that immediately after the game wasn't the time to consider that. But it's also possible that LaFleur meant he wouldn't consider taking action until after the season. It wasn't until after past seasons when he moved on from defensive coordinator Mike Pettini, after the 2020 season, and special teams coordinators Sean Menenga, after 2020, and Maurice Drayton, after 2021. Barry's hire in 2021 was panned in large part because of his previous stints as a defensive coordinator in Washington and Detroit. His defenses finished ranked between 28th and 32nd, last, in the NFL. In Green Bay, however, Barry was supposed to have better talent than in his previous stops. The Packers have had as many as eight first-round picks playing on that side of the ball at various times during his tenure. Typically during Barry's tenure, the defensive problems have been more with stopping the run. The Packers ranked 31st in the NFL in rushing yards allowed coming into Sunday but were a respectable 8th against the pass despite playing most of the season without all-pro cornerback Jer Alexander, who has been healthy enough to practice despite a shoulder injury but was inactive for the 6th straight game Sunday. This time, however, it was mostly in the passing game. Mayfield became the first opposing quarterback to ever post the maximum passer rating, 158.3, in this stadium, and was the first visiting signal caller to throw four touchdown passes and complete 75% of his passes at Lambeau all-time, playoffs included. Barry committed to playing a heavy amount of zone defense against the Bucks, and Mayfield picked it apart. He completed 22 of 28 passes for 381 yards and four touchdowns. Barry played zone 66% of the time, according to ESPN Analytics, NFL Next Gen Stats, and Mayfield went 16 of 20 for 255 yards and two touchdowns against it. That was the most allowed by the Packers while playing since ESPN began tracking it in 2017. Going into the game, I feel like we've got the right game plan. Feel like we're going to be able to execute and come out on top, Packers outside linebacker Rashawn Gary said.